real quick and give y'all some updates. I told y'all as I hear stuff, I'm going to give it to you. And I know a lot of y'all still at work. Come on in. Let's talk about the new updates. I ain't going to be on here long. Only about 10 minutes. Because it's the same old thing. The wheel go round and round. It's just the same old news. And it's like every day, somebody adding a little bit here, a little bit there. But I'm going to tell you what I just seen. So, I'm going to wait till y'all come on in so we can discuss what just happened today. I don't know if anybody, any of you have seen the video yet. But it just proved a point. It proves a point. I'm going to give y'all enough time to get on in so we can talk about it. It is nice out here today. I know 50 Cent made a lot of money off this water. It is really nice out here today. How you doing? How you doing? Come on in the house. I wonder did anybody see the video that I just saw? I know. I wonder if anybody should see this video. Diddy is just like the hottest topic ever. Diddy just people is like addicted to Diddy. Diddy is addicting. First of all, let's talk about Cassie. Guess what Cassie about to do, y'all? Cassie about to have allegedly one of the biggest interviews ever. People waiting on Cassie to speak. Actually, I, I want to see Cassie speak because everybody been speaking for Cassie. I want to hear stuff from Cassie. I don't want to hear what she told somebody, who shot John, what letter she wrote. I really want to see Cassie tell her own truth. Enough is enough of this who said what. Okay, it's, it's childish. But guess what Cassie about to do? And this is what I don't like. I wish she would have went to Club Shay Shay like everybody else. Guess who going to interview Cassie? Yeah, Oprah and Gail King. I that's the only reason I don't want to watch it. Cause it's awfully funny, Oprah and Gail. Y'all always jumping on the bandwagon when it come to dogging your own people. Y'all love them interviews. What did Gail King was she, was she, um when she um interviewed what's her name Leslie? Well, her name was Leslie King too, wasn't it? The basketball player. Remember she interviewed Leslie. And she was asking about Kobe Bryant. Instead of her saying something nice about Kobe's legacy, she going to bring up the time when Kobe was accused of iron the girl. This man is dead. And you're going to bring up some stuff that he beat in court or settled or whatever happened. Never one time, Kale, did you get Kobe on your show and ask Kobe yourself. You asked his friend. Everybody's sad about Kobe dying and she gonna bring up some shit he did to a white girl. I'm like, that's why um, Snoop Dogg called Gail a bitch. Snoop Dogg mama made him apologize. Otherwise, he wouldn't go apologize. His mama, you know, his mama don't play. Then we already know what she did to our Kelly Robert. I would have slapped her wig backwards. I'm like, would somebody slap her wig off her head? Be like she shop at the same shop Donald Trump shop at. That man unit on her head, Robert. I'd be like, Gail, slap that wig straight. I couldn't, I can't stand her and Oprah. I'm sorry, y'all. So Cassie agreed. This let me know. I don't care how y'all feel about Diddy right now. This let me know it's all a setup. Because they always go get the same people that's a part of the setup to do their interviews and stuff. They do an exact same thing they did with our Kelly. Why do they even agree to go on them shows? Diddy better not go on there. Are you going to be a uh, Diddy? You know what I'm saying? Because she, she couldn't wait to tear down R. Kelly. Now, I'm, I'm sitting there like, okay, if the man did it, damn it. You ain't got to just, ugh. I'm like, where's his auntie, his sister, somebody? Go whoop Gail ass. Because I, I just, I'm just sick of her. So now... Cassie has agreed, allegedly, I heard it today, to do an interview with Gail King and Oprah, and they just cringed me. 
I wish she would have just went to Tasha K. Uh, 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 damn it, uh, Shay Shay. Any damn body. Go to a YouTuber before you go to one of them. Damn it, because they don't care about your story, Cassie. They going to be the ones to tear you down. They going to be the ones that make sure after they use you up that you get pop out. Trust me. They behind a whole lot of stuff. Oprah be having her old raggly feet over in that on that island. Her and Gail both over there on that island. They look like they smell like Ben Gay. I don't like them. For real, they just, Oprah, no matter how young she is, she looked, oh, Oprah been looking like she was 65 since she was 30. She never looked young. She just irritate me. But how you have a billion dollars and your feet look like you only make $5.99 an hour? How your feet look like that? Worry about your feet, Oprah, instead of worrying about everybody else. Get all your hair and Oprah's feet. Y'all need to go somewhere. We don't we don't need y'all to interview nobody. But allegedly Cassie go run over there and talk to Bad Feet Ope. Bad Feet Ope. And I should, man, if I was Cassie, I'd go on the show. Yeah, that'd be me. So tell us what happened. When you tell me what happened to your feet first, then we could talk about Diddy. What happened to them feet, Ope? Who did that? Because whoever did that need life in prison. Did somebody run them feet over? Somebody did you wrong. They need life. You my Diddy. No, who did that to Oprah feet? And Gail, how much money you make? Ain't your friend a billionaire? You know the Chinese people sell hair, right? They sell the human hair. You don't have to go to the local gas station and get no more wigs. You, you're free now. Your, your friend got money. They just get on my nerves. They smell like that old lady, the old church lady perfume. You can look through the TV and say they smell like that old church lady. I bet they got candy in their purse with no paper on it that's stuck together. Them old ladies in church, that's what they they the two old ladies is talking shit. So Kelsey, tell us what happened with Diddy. Was it good? See, they just want to know was it good. I bet Gail go up there and visit our Kelly. She probably be the first one at the prison to see Robert. Yeah, you want Robert. He's sitting in front of you and you just lusting at She wanted Robert. I just can't stand them, man. Cassie, why you picked him? Out of all the people you can pick to talk to, you picked damn it, uh Well what was Martin and, and um Eddie Murphy name on life? Claude. You you picked the two old angry women. Anyway, y'all, guess what else happened today? Did y'all push like, please, if y'all don't mind? I'm watching Diddy. I just turned on YouTube real quick. I know you're going to talk about Diddy. Diddy is riding his bike. He out there riding his 10 speed. And guess what happened? He got swamped. Not by no angry protesters. Diddy didn't get swamped by angry protesters. He got swapped by happy fans. See, I, I, I don't understand why y'all listen. Did I tell y'all people fake? I told y'all don't listen to me. Y'all do not listen to me. People fake is hell. Let me explain this. And I y'all know this. All these Diddy killers, if Diddy come in they face. They going over Diddy house. You know what I'm saying? I'll be listening to all these women. I can't wait till he go down. Go, Cassie, go. If Diddy call any one of them women, they're going over Diddy's house. Like R. Kelly. All them women that was against R. Kelly, they probably up there visiting R. Kelly. Don't be fooled. How many friends you have that you know they baby daddy ain't no good? Dog walk them. Whoop they butt. You didn't tell them, girl, I seen your baby daddy at the movies again with the girl. I ain't dealing with him no more. And you turn around and you see them in church together at the altar talking about they need prayer. How, how many friends you know stupid like that or cousins or nephews? Somebody get this person up. Where's Miss Lorraine to get this person off my channel? I hope David on here. It's just so sickening that these people get on your channel ain't got no life, ain't got nothing to do. Just irritating. 
and you're dealing with a child of God, so guess what you're doing? You're cursing your life. You're on your way to the pit of hell with Diddy. Get your stupid butt off my channel. Can't stand people. Anyway, Diddy riding his bike, y'all, and all these fans run up to him screaming. They pulling him off his bike like Michael Jackson just pulled up. And, and what, what did the fans say? He paid them to do that. He don't have to pay them to do that, y'all. That's Sean Puffy Combs. Y'all forgot. That's Sean Puffy Combs. Everybody don't care about what he did. This is what y'all don't understand. They can put on there that he didn't slept with 12 men and a dog. Somebody walking around here with a vagina would still sleep with Puffy. They still sleep with Puffy. You know why? Because people chasing this, they don't care about that. They don't care. So he still got a lot of supporters. Yes, he still got a lot of supporters. So I want y'all to look on YouTube and see Puffy on his bike and see all these women and stuff and men pulling on this shirt. The men want the meek meals. They, I heard the video. Probably was whispering Puffy ear. You know, I heard the video. They, they, they Puffy would turn a straight man G. When you got a billion dollars, you can turn a straight man G. I know some men right here in my city mess with this G guy in the city that got money. And he always putting people on. They straight and they mess with him to get on. People would do the dirty stuff for money. I'm telling y'all what I know. So no matter how many times you're dogging them, I want all these YouTubers to realize. All your followers, half your followers will talk to Diddy right now. They will talk to Diddy right They fake. I can't stand him. Yeah, until he come in your face and make your panties wet. You'll be at the f offs. You know how? You know how I can prove that. Didn't Young Miami know about Cassie? Didn't Young Miami know about Gina G? Didn't she know all the stuff Diddy did? What she do? I like you real bad. Me love you long time. She got on TV after all the Cassie stuff. All the gay rumors. And what did she say? Puffy pees on me and I like it. She said Puffy pee on her. Yeah. She did not care about Cassie. Well, R. Kelly. How long has Leah been dead? Since 2000 and 2000, I think. 2001. Something like that. Then the PP tape came along. So we heard about Aaliyah and the PP tape. This was way before 2024. We heard about this, right? When Gar Kelly goes to 2015, we, we 15 years before that, we heard about Aaliyah and the PP tape. So tell me, how in the heck did all these girls get on surviving R. Kelly if they heard about Aaliyah and the PP tape? How do, how do they have a movie 15 years later? You know why? Because they didn't care about the PP tape or Leah. I told y'all, people is a liar and they're fake. If Diddy throw a party right now, right now, and he get on YouTube and say, everybody that called his cell phone number, I'm going to give y'all a round trip ticket. And a whole week in Beverly Hills if you just come to my party. Do y'all know half the people on YouTube will be calling Diddy? People fake, y'all. Y'all better realize all these people talking crazy, they would be at the F off this weekend if Diddy did that. Diddy could walk up to half these women right now and say, hey, baby, I like you. She getting in Diddy's car. If, she, if a woman in your neighborhood weak for Pookie, you know she going to be weak for Diddy. Her baby daddy do what Diddy do. She got babies by him. Not one, not two, not three or four of them. By somebody that's broke and go, he got free calls every day. And he broke. And she the one chasing him around town with her flashlight in the daytime with a knife talking about I'm going to kill him. He don't even have Diddy money if she chasing him. Am I lying? How many of y'all know a woman that's barely making it on the system? 
and she got a no good brother up in there eating her food stamps and over there playing the video games all day driving her car. But she the main one on YouTube talking about y'all stupid, diddy diddy, diddy that. Now what about uh day day? What about little day day? Little day day in your house. The one the one you got them kids by baby day day. June Bug. Junior, he in there playing the video game. Worry about Junior. And then a lot of the women that's talking, they don't even have no man. Don't even have one. That's why it's so easy for them to tell Cassie what to do. Them the nosy women that don't have no life. Cassie, you should be doing this. Y'all can't see Cassie money. Y'all, how y'all tell a millionaire what to do? You ain't even a dollar heir. You ain't even a dollar heir. How you gonna tell Cassie what to do? Cassie don't listen to these people. These people will have your ass over in the corner talking to a bird, Cassie. Then they're going to be like, you know, Cassie went crazy. That bitch nuts. They'll dog you out, Cassie. Do not listen to them folks. Because somebody already done told you wrong to get your butt on the internet and get to running your mouth with little, little Rodney. Now you in all kind of mess. Now you can't get away from the feds. Now you got an interview with bad feet. You was quiet for over 10 years. We didn't even see you, Cassie. Listening to people. These people will have you off in the river. Because the, the people that you, that's saying stuff, they broke. Because rich people quiet. Did y'all know that? The rich people quiet. The poor people are the ones talking. We talking. We ain't got no money. We talking. You know why? Because we try to make some money off your misery. Ain't that sad, Cass? You better listen to your TT Nina. People try to make money off your misery and pretend that they care that you're a victim. They don't care, Cassie. Because if they care, they'll tell you to... Quiet. Cassie, you should have called me. I'm like, uh, just you. all you got to do is give me, a, give me 50000 I'll tell you what to do. The first thing is shut the hell up. You don't know nothing. I would have told Cassie, girl, if you don't get on the next thing smoking in the sky and you and your kids and your husband go somewhere and do a Russell Simmons, you better go somewhere and disappear and change your identity. Take that 30 million you in New York, sh New York shopping. Girl, if you don't go to China to the real people, you can go right to the Chinese and get the shit. What you in New York shopping for? You better go somewhere and disappear. I would have told her, do not talk to them people. Plead the fifth. I don't know nothing. Did Diddy do? I don't know what Diddy did. How you get 30 million? He just gave it to me. I used to go with him. We cool. I wouldn't have known nothing. And I know people say, what about the victims? Cassie was not thinking about the victims. They making her think about the victims. Because, cause, because, Sean Puffy Combs sued Chirac. The, the liquor store, the liquor company. That's the only reason they want her to know about the victims. Nobody care about uh, Shiny, Sean Puffy Combs freak off. The police don't care about no shit like that. My neighbors have F-offs. Shit, it's drug houses all around me. The FBI ain't flying in. I don't see no helicopters and nobody coming in on boats. Shit, it's drug dealers all over the place. I don't see nobody flying in protecting Shaquanda in the neighborhood because they don't care about her. The only reason they won't Diddy because he sued a giant. He sued the wrong person. And the best way to take down a man is a woman. Because a woman is a man weakness. Samson and Delilah. I said this, I, I gave you the story yesterday. Samson and Delilah. Delilah, go find out Samson weakness. Put put Delilah on Samson. Y'all be slow, man. I know y'all about sick of me. Because I'm the one of reasoning. I watch their stories and I'm like. Look at Diddy driving his bike. Look at all them fans. Did he pay them? Diddy ain't got to pay nobody. He still Sean Puffy Combs. He still Sean Puffy Combs. With all his dirt, he still Sean Billionaire Combs. 
No matter what, so Puffy could have got off that bike, went across the street, and slapped the, the teeth out of somebody's grandmama. He could have slapped her teeth out of her mouth and went right back over there. One of them girls would have went to bed with Puffy. Come in the bushes with me. She would have went over in the bushes with Puffy. And thought it was funny that he just slapped somebody's grandma's teeth out their mouth. I'm telling you, people don't care, man, for real. We live in a world, in a society that people don't care. They only care when it's somebody else. They can tell everybody else what to do. I wouldn't do that. Oh, leave that Negro alone. Oh, you stupid. Oh, no, you a victim. Poor little Tink Tink. Kathy can come over to their house right now and see Junebug in there playing a the video game and say, Girl, why you got Junebug in there playing a the video and you go to work every day? You better get out of my business. You can't say none of them, Cassie. You can't say two shits to somebody. They mama can't even tell them. Why they on the YouTube talking? Guess what? They up in the other room right now. In the other room with Junebug on the video game, probably texting his girlfriend. They up in the bed with a butt and all eating some bun buns on YouTube telling Cassie what to do. Can't even control their house. Their kids in the basement by making bombs. Talking about they going to shoot up the school, all kind of shit. They don't know what the kid is doing. Out there hot wiring the neighbor's Kia. And they on TV. Cassie, I wouldn't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can't wait till Diddy go down. What about when Junebug ass get a job? How about that? What about Junebug? I just don't like fake folks. No, Diddy did not pay them fans. I know people. If y'all really believe Diddy had to pay them girls and them dudes to pull all over him, something wrong with y'all. No matter how bad you are, no matter how unattractive you are, no matter if you even smell like booty meat, I don't care if you smell like chitlin juice, somebody gonna like you. Somebody wants you. And that's just plain and simple. That's why, I don't know if y'all heard the story about the girl in Detroit. I'm going to do a story about her. She married a man in prison. This is a true story, and I should do it tonight so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Beautiful, attractive black woman from Detroit, Michigan. She goes to Michigan Penitentiary and meet a black man. Guess what this man was in prison for? Killing his first wife. And she thought he looked at attractive. He in prison for killing his wife. She dated him, helped him through his time, married the man. She had two kids by her previous husband. They were teenagers. Ended up having two babies by him when he got out. He starts showing signs of being cray-cray. This is this her story. He was acting a little cray-cray. You, you think? You, you think just a little? See, I couldn't have been a detective. I mean, you, he was just acting a little. He keyed in there for killing his wife. When he got out, he only acted a little crazy. Okay, you didn't see all the crazy all the time. He was in there. Okay, okay. All right, little Ting Ting, let's keep talking. She decided she wanted to divorce him. He killed his first wife for trying to leave him. And you thought you can tell this cray-cray man you about to leave him. And you got two kids by him. I don't even think he had kids by the other woman. You know what this man did? This man plotted to kill her. This is a true story, y'all, in Detroit. Look it up. It's on YouTube. It might be under the show Snap. She came home with her kids. He took her two teenagers in the basement. Made her watch him execute them on their knees, pow, pow, in the back of the head. By another man. It's her first husband, kids. One of them was about to graduate from high school. She's screaming and hollering. He shoot her a couple of times. Pop, pop, pop. He go upstairs to his little girls. I think they were three and five. He didn't have a heart to shoot his own seed. You say, you know what he did to his little girls? 
He picked that. He picked them up while they was asleep. He put them in the back seat of the car in the garage. He went and got a water hose, and he knew how to hook the, the water hose to the exhaust and put it inside the car, let the windows up inside the garage, and let the car run. So carbon monoxide poison killed his kids. His own two kids. He left her for dead. He thought she was dead and she lived. All for her kids gone. She was in court telling him how much I hate you. I hate you. How dare you take my kids? And I'm sitting there looking at her like I feel bad for her. But damn it, when you heard he killed his first wife, why did you sleep with him? Why did you bring this murderer home to your kids? You didn't even love your kids enough to protect them. But nobody want to tell her the truth. Everybody, oh, she's a victim. What about the poor babies? They gone. Was the penis that good? It was that good that you want to go, you go lay with somebody that killed the first wife. You lay with Michael Myers and thought you was going to have a good outcome, huh? I feel bad for her because she handicapped now. All her babies gone. He got, went back to the penitentiary. Now he got life. And you know what he said in court? All I got to do is ask God to forgive me and I'm forgiven. He ain't lying though. He ain't lying. I know we don't understand the, how God forgive, but God forgive you for doing whatever. And he know that. That's why he said, all I got to do is I feel bad what I did, but I already asked God to forgive me. I'm forgiven. I don't care how y'all think about me. Pretty, that's pretty much what he was saying. I don't give a damn what y'all feel about me. But the moral of the story is somebody going to want you if you're the worst person in the world. Somebody will lay with you. Somebody will go home with you. She got a prisoner who was in jail for murder. Murdering his first wife. And he still got another wife and kids. People be lying, y'all. It's a lot of mentally ill people. Why you think the prisons are full with visits every day? People run up to them prisons every day and visit. There's women up there right now planning a wedding to a dude they never met outside them walls. And they about to get married this month because it's April. I'm getting married in April. Who he get he getting out next year. He only got three more years. And they finna go up there and marry this person. And you gonna tell me people ain't mentally ill. People mentally ill. It ain't just Diddy. Everybody around here crazy. Cray cray. It's just people for, afraid to say it. You, everybody got a crazy uncle, cousin, nephew. You know you got crazy people in your family. You know damn well you sleeping with a crazy man or a woman. How many of y'all got a baby mama that's out her mind, just retarded as hell? Just crazy. She's showing up at the club with her bottle and pajamas on and some roller skates. You're like, what the? Your baby mama here, she got a roller skates, man, with a bonnet on and some pajamas, and they floods. Ain't got an eczema all over her face. You see my baby daddy, and you still go back home with her. I don't understand how y'all have babies by crazy people that complain that they crazy. You know that be crazy. You didn't know she was crazy when she walked up to you and grabbed you and said, I want you, nigga. And you went home and had a baby with her. I like aggression. <laughs> Diddy fans attacked him today in a good way. Diddy! Pulling all on his shirt. He was on his bike trying to get away. And he had them do that. No, he didn't. If Diddy come to Grand Rapids right now, right on Franklin and Easter, people be like, my nigga Diddy. What's up, Diddy? Boy, I heard about you, dog. You smoking? Let's go, man. Get in the limo, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just here chilling. You know, I heard this was Floyd Mayweather hometown. I'll come and chill with y'all for a minute. You know, I'm going through some, man, fuck them hoes, man. I know what you mean, man. My baby mama do the same thing to me all the time. I ain't believe that shit, Diddy. Trust me. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I hope y'all get y'all money. Get y'all money. Get y'all money. But it's a bunch of lies going around. A bunch of lies. I'm starting to think they punking all of us, to be honest. 
I'm thinking this is a thing to get some money. Let these fans think that we chasing him. Diddy is the Joker. I'm like, this is a movie. They probably was making a movie. We talking about that's probably wouldn't that be funny? We watch Bad Boys and that part that part of Diddy House is in the movie. They said we was filming. That wasn't real. We were just filming. We be looking stupid as hell. <laughs> How y'all doing? How you doing? <laughs> I think everything funny. I know y'all. Why it's so funny? Because everybody's so serious. Everybody want to be New Center 8. Today at 6 o'clock, Diddy was riding his bike and a bunch of fans was paid to attack him. Today at 5.30, Cassie decided to interview with Bad Feet and Nappy Hair. That shit is stupid. <laughs> you know Diddy went down the street and he used the bathroom at his friend house because his water ain't running in the hotel they report everything D Diddy ate a steak and it wasn't all the way done today so he liked blood I seen him eating blood at the steakhouse he liked blood everything Diddy doing they talking about it everything do y'all think people really care if he bumping uglies with Meek Mills? That was the most nastiest video, audio I ever heard in my life. It's disgusting. And everybody, even men, what kind of straight man, for real, answer this, y'all, what kind of straight man is playing that on their YouTube channel? What straight man is listening to that? I didn't even want to hear it, and I'm a woman. Any straight man would never play that video. That is disgusting. And everybody and their daddy playing that video talking about this Meek Mills and Puffy. Okay, they two grown men who consented to sleep together. If they want to be G, let them be G. That's their booty. We ain't got nothing to do with Diddy's booty or Meek Mills. Why is it the world's business who they bumping uglies with? I could care less who Diddy booty going to why are we talking about diddy's booty though why are we talking about meek mills butt what is wrong with us y'all better talk about these immigrants running around here taking people behinds that don't want it taken you talking about somebody that want their butt taken so what he sold his booty for a million dollars i know people to sell their booties for a long later so what are you talking about man a long later and a coke they'll sell their butt I go to the local store right now. It's some drug addicts out there and just say, can you give me $2? I'll suck your toes. And y'all tripping that uh, Meek Mill sold his booty for a contract. You know you know people that sell their butt for less than that. People selling their butt that pays $500 rent. You can't go get $500. McDonald's pay, what, $12, $13, they about to go up to $20. You can't go punch a clock and pay your rent. You better sell your butt to Freaky Jason, the little horny little um, landlord that's three foot tall, breathing hard, stank. You asleep with him so you don't have to pay your rent. And you the main one on there. They need to lock Diddy up. Why? Because you want Diddy. You won't Diddy, don't you? Do y'all know when R. Kelly was going through trial? Do y'all know how many women was outside the courthouse? Outside the courthouse hoping, bring, let, let me just take him home. I'll keep him. One lady was on the news. She said, come and lock me up in the closet, baby. Tie me up. You ain't got to force me to do nothing. They wanted R. Kelly. That's still the king of R&B Six foot two chocolate mendingo. If y'all like it or not. Not only can he lay the pipe, he can sing. Mm -hmm. He can sing. If somebody out there would take R. Kelly home right now for free. Hey, R. Kelly ain't got to do nothing. Nothing. Just sing, baby, and, and lay the pipe. You ain't even got to leave the house. I got you. Mm -hmm. the upper room I'm telling you I'm not y'all be wondering how people get away for years doing dirt how did, how did daddy get away doing these F-offs for years 
Because when one person leave, he come 10 more women. Even if they heard, they heard about Cassie. Young Miami heard about Cassie. And she still was profiling on the red carpet with Diddy. Yep. I, she wanted to do it. She knew about the, the f off. She knew about the, the freak off. She knew about the 18 men. And she, not only that, she told the world, I know about that and I get peed on. I love when Diddy got billion dollar piss. It feels different. You never been peed on by a billionaire? The billion dollar piss feel real good. Lotion. Y'all see my skin? Billion dollar pee pee, I heard, feel different. It feel good. It feel different than June bug pee. June bug pee sting. It might make you break out in hives. But billion dollar piss, it make your skin soft. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. They're lying. People ain't gonna like me, and I don't care. I'm telling the truth. Even the YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers is, that's broadcasting it, let Diddy call them and say, you know what, baby, I'm, I'm trying to invest before I go to prison. I'm trying to invest in somebody. You know, I saw a revolt, and I'm looking for another, you know, podcast to invest in, and I think you a good fit. Can I put a couple million dollars into you before I leave? Who gonna say no? Who gonna say, tell me who gonna say no. All them damn Diddy videos that would come down. Bloop, 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 bloop. What happened to her videos? And she be sitting there with Diddy on the back wall talking about, I I'm tired of y'all dogging my brothers. I am sick and tired of y'all dogging our kings. Her whole conversation will change. Money talking bullshit walk. He still Sean Puffy Combs, if y'all don't like it or not. And no, I'm not taking up for freaky Jason. And no, I'm not. Did he go into jail? I guess. I don't know. I don't even know no more. I'm confused. Shit. I don't even know. Shit. I don't even know what to say. To be honest. Because the shit is the shit crazy. I didn't heard that my doctors and, and my attorneys and stuff could have been at Diddy House. You mean you touching on me, giving me pep smears, and your fingers bent up in Bubbles' ass? What the hell going on around here, man? You don't even know where your doctor hands been. You didn't tell your doctor, let me see your fingernails. Sit your ass down, let me see your fingernails. Let me examine you. People are lying. People lying. Y'all better be careful going to these restaurants because the cook... Might have been at the F off. You don't know where his fingers been. How many of y'all, for real, be honest, know somebody that was sleep with Sean Puffy Combs right now? Just push yes. They ain't gonna know who you are. How many of y'all know some? You know one person in your life, one that is sleep with Sean Puffy Combs right now. Just push yes. I know more than one. I know so many girls that they get on there and they be Diddy's personal bodyguards and tell the world to kiss everybody, but I mean, they about that life. They worse than the bodyguards. They be like, man, we will F you up about Diddy. Let Diddy come over here to Grand Rapids. I can take him right now to some girls' houses and he's safe. He will be safe. They'll be ready to F up everybody about Diddy. And get on TV, be... Yeah, Diddy over here, what you gonna do? Diddy up in here, what? What? Be ready to fight. I think all y'all know a girl like that. People fake, y'all. I'm dead ass serious. People fake as hell. Don't be fooled. Don't let them fool you. Oh, no. I, I am so glad I can recognize fake when I see it. I am so glad. It's so funny since I've been on YouTube. I said, these people really retarded to me. I didn't know people was this damn slow. I didn't know it was that easy to get. See, now I know why men are pimps. I didn't know it was that easy to get in people's head. You can tell somebody some shit on YouTube and you got a whole tribe ready to kill the world over you. Don't you talk about such and such. Don't even know this person. I miss Donald. I have mentioned Donald Trump 
And you know how I many Donald Trump workers then came at me and talking about leave down a lot of it. Man, Donald Trump said he grabbed the coochie. He probably put the F offs together, girl. He grabs the coochie. I think Donald Trump the one at the door at Diddy House collecting the $5 at the door. Let me grab your coochie first. If it ain't fat, you can't get in. Donald, what you mean? I'm not playing with you. I'm going to send your ass over that wall. You think I'm playing? Donald Trump ain't playing. I really wish Donald Trump would come on in and take care of his business, though, to be honest, y'all. I know y'all going to be mad at me. I, I grew up a Democrat, but that's another thing, following a trend. My parents was Democrats. They always told me, always vote Democrat across the board. I didn't even know I was voting to be a Democrat. I'm like, I don't even know these people. Okay, daddy, I go in there and I vote Democrat. Don't know what they going to do. Don't know who they are. I voted for Clinton. My first time voting, I voted for Clinton. And come to find out, he was like a more black man than, damn it, um, George Washington ass. I'm like, well, I thought he was like the black first black president. I thought, he, I thought George Clinton was just light-skinned. No, nah, he was. He didn't care. Him and Hillary did not care. They was locking up folks. And our dumb asses, we voting for George. I voted for Sleepy Joe. I didn't even want to tell y'all that. I'm embarrassed. I voted for Sleepy Ass Joe because my daddy told me to vote for Democrats. What the hell? I should have been like, see my daddy going. I should have prayed and said, but daddy, what about if he an old freaky man and sniff kids? We still supposed to vote for him, daddy. Because I don't think he the right person, daddy. He be sniffing little kids on the stage. He sniff his own grandkids. I don't think Sleepy Joe even know he here, daddy. It got to be another Democrat to vote for, daddy. So I'm asking my father to forgive me because either I'm not going to vote or I'm voting the other way. Because all my life I didn't vote for these damn Democrats. And rent is $2,000 for a damn garage. You got to pay $2,000 to live in the garage. I said I ain't never in all my life paid this much for rent until I voted Sleepy Joe ass up in here. I'm paying $1,500 for three cars for insurance. Never heard of that in my life. Because of Sleepy Joe ass. I'd rather have a person grab the coochie. He, he a gangster. He grabs the coochie. He going to make some shit happen. I should have known that if somebody bold enough to say, I grabbed the coochie. I'm like, yeah, that's the president for me. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because he going to slap some couple people. He going to slap a couple people. All I know, y'all, y'all can be mad at me if y'all want to. I, I don't know much about Donald Trump either. Don't want to know. I used to read his books, and I, Donald Trump was like a mentor from afar to me because he's a genius when it comes to money. I remember reading his books since I was a kid about money, right? All I know is when Donald Trump was in the house, we didn't have, um, I don't want to be racist, but we didn't have Jesus and his cousins and, 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 and um, Juan. And all of them running around, just, just taking shit, running up in Walmarts and taking houses and cars from people. We ain't had them just all willy-nilly running around the United States, just taking over our shit. They taking over the United States. And Sleepy Joe somewhere rubbing Ben Gay on him, talking about he finna order some cornflakes offline. He don't even know what, what's going on. And then Car Carmella Anthony... The vice president, that's what I'm going to call her, Carmela Anthony. She promising prisoners that's 85 years old, we'll let y'all out and give you Medicaid. They so old in prison, they don't know anybody can get Medicaid. She done made a dumbass problem. We're going to let y'all out and get y'all Medicaid. I would be like, bitch, Medicaid? You better give me $50,000 in food stamps. Talking about some goddamn, nobody care about no damn Medicaid. She made a promise to get these people Medicaid. They old as shit. They, they probably gonna use it one time because they about to die. I'm like, is this lady crazy? You ain't show. I haven't seen you drop a double dutch. I haven't seen you press no hair. I haven't seen you put no cocoa butter on your face. We all thought you was this delicious black girl. I haven't seen you do nothing. I haven't seen you talking about a meetup. I ain't seen you wear no bonnet. I ain't seen you do shit, Carmela Anthony. And now here you go. I'll give y'all some Medicaid if y'all vote for me. If you don't go play some basketball somewhere, get sit your ass down. Y'all blowed it.
They blowed it. They blew it. We gave y'all a run at it and y'all effed it up. Y'all see what they doing. You see what the Democrats then did? Look at Diddy. Diddy then lost his mind. I don't think he would have did that if, if um Donald Trump was in the house. I don't think he would have did it. Because Donald Trump would have made sure that the f Force was quiet. He was like, shut up. Everybody going to know what we doing. Shut the hell up, Cassie. Sit down. Shit. D Donald Trump wouldn't have let that shit out. Diddy should have let him come to the party. I heard they wouldn't let Donald Trump come. They said he talked too much. See, Donald Trump called people names and shit. He would have been calling the FBI names. You sellout motherfucker. He would have been dogging them. You, you snitch ass bitch. You know? <laughs> Donald Trump would have been going in. He ain't, pl man. If Diddy would have had Donald at the door, he wouldn't be on TV right now. He wouldn't be on TV right now. He is the best host ever because he go grab the coochie. Did y'all hear what he said to that one reporter? She was Spanish. She was saying, Mr. Trump, some, some, some. He said, sit down, Miss Piggy. Sit your bitch ass down. <laughs> the black dude was talking. He said, knock his ass out like they used to. I said, damn, he bluntly a racist. He don't give a damn. He said, knock his ass out like they used to. He might as well say, go hang that Negro from that tree. He might as well have said that. I said, this man is really cray cray. He ain't fake, though. That's what I'm saying. He might be a lot of things, but Donald Trump ain't fake. I can tell y'all that shit. Y'all gonna know what he got to say. He remind me of my mom. I said, I think Donald Trump, my uncle. I think he related to me. Because my mama would say some shit like that. <laughs> I grew up with a mama that didn't care. She wasn't biting her tongue. I'm not bringing a dark skin to do. My mom was color struck. I'm bringing a dark skin to do home one day. He was like, my, he's my friend. These teenagers. Huh? He my friend. He just came over, you know, and we all sit on the steps. She came outside. She said, where you get that ugly boy from? I said, what? Boy with that big ass nose. Mama, go in the house, please. I'm telling daddy. My mother did not care. She did not care. If you're ugly, she gonna tell you. Where you get that nose from? You came to Joe Jackson. My mama didn't care. Shit. Do you know what my mama said to New Edition? Well, she had us say it to New Edition. Because we used to always be around them. She said, when y'all go see them boys this time, you tell them that your mama said... If she see them in them red shiny suits one more time, she knows something. And my best friend told Ralph that, and I ain't seen them in the suits no more. She said, my mama said, I'm wearing them damn stank ass suits no more. They're like some Christmas trees. And they ain't wore them red suits no more. You know, this used to wear them suits all the time because they was living in the projects. We didn't know it. We had more money than they ass. We up here in love with some people from the projects. We think, it, oh, they famous. We had more money than that because they on TV don't mean nothing. But I'm sorry, y'all. I had to be silly today. I just want to tell y'all, don't don't vote for Sleepy Joe. I'm sorry. I ain't seen nothing you did, Joe. Joseph. Joseph. I haven't seen nothing you did. But sleep. You slept the whole four years. I didn't even know his time was up. I'm thinking he just got in the house last week. I said, his four years up already. And he did shit. Don't lower the gas now. We've been paying, what, $50 for a gallon? For the last three years, now it's three eighty-five. Nah, you ain't fooling me, Carmela Anthony. I'm not stupid. And you fooled me once. Mm-mm. You ain't getting me no more. Look at 2024. The Democrats in the House diddy all over the news with bad boys coming at them. Y'all sent our taxpayers over to Diddy House and didn't get shit but some F tapes. Some freak tapes. You could have got them at the local freak store. Diddy in there. He on them tapes. Y'all didn't have to do all that shit to go get no freaky tapes. Diddy is on the freak tapes in the freak store. And we paying for that shit. Now, a, gas, a, damn, a gallon of milk about to be $12 because of Diddy ass. I really want to whoop Diddy ass, though, for real, because you know our taxes going to go up after that shit. Our taxes going to go up. 
We need to go find Diddy and just whoop his ass. Like, he ain't got to go to jail. Yo, leave him alone. Leave him alone. We going to whoop Diddy ass. We got this. Let us take care of Diddy. See, that's what we need to start doing. Policing our own people. We don't need Diddy to go to jail. Shit, we need Diddy. We going to whoop his ass and make him build us some shit in this community. We don't want the money to leave. We want the money. No, you did what? Now you finna build another clubhouse. Ain't nobody playing with your ass. You finna do, no, nah, you finna start paying for some of these houses. That house over there, your grandma house need a new roof on it. Don't let him go to jail. We need Diddy money in our community. Cassie, I know you mad, but we got Diddy. He gonna wish his ass was in jail. Shit. Let us take care of his ass. Because I got some work for his ass to do. I, I put his ass to work. I have Diddy in an orange sweatsuit outside crying at 80 degrees digging a ditch. He yeah, just want to go to shit. Just shut your ass up. You you said you like F-offs? You like digging down in booties? Dig down in that hole, that crack right there. Dig in that crack. That's what you do. And don't you stop digging in that crack till I tell you. I will fuck Diddy up. I... <laughs> But this your girl, Nina, from Breakable Strong Woman. I'm sorry. I don't like fake folks. <laughs> I hope and pray that I made somebody laugh today. Okay? I hope I made y'all laugh today. Y'all can dog me on this one. I don't even care because I'm being real. And if anybody like no Donald Trump, would you forward my video to him? Because Donald, I need to be the uh, one driving... The black truck that you be in, we finna go find this immigrants. I need Donald Trump in the back. Donald Trump's so gangster, man. I, I'll ride and die with Donald any day. I would love to say, you messing with me and you want me to go home and get my Uncle Donald? Donald Trump can get in the car with me any day because he down for it. He ain't scared of shit. I like Donald. Ain't scared of shit. Now, he's a ride or die. We can cut on some damn Tupac. Can y'all imagine Donald Trump, his, his wig just moving back and forth. It's going back to the back of his neck, over to his eyes. And he just, fuck the bitch and the click you claim. We, man, me and Donald will be riding out looking for Diddy ass. <laughs> well, let's go get him, Donald. <laughs> I wonder what he's saying about Diddy. Have anybody checked on Donald Trump? What is he saying about Diddy? He got to be saying something. Shit, who shot ya? That's what he... <laughs> Let me go, y'all. <laughs> Life is, is... You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh to keep from crying, y'all. You have to laugh to keep from crying. And if you still running around here talking about you, you voting for Sleepy Joe and Carmella Anthony, you need your ass whooped. Damn it. Rent this damn $2,000 for a garage. Hell no. Nah. Get they ass up out of here. I don't even know who else running. But I know they ass shouldn't be running. They should be running their ass out the White House. That's what they should be doing. Run your ass out the White House. Shit, Donald Trump went up in the Capitol building and took that. Donald Trump gangster. Go up in that Capitol building and tell them Uncle Donald sent you, bitch. Say, I'm Donald Trump, bitch. Tell them I sent you. He ain't even go to jail. Donald, y'all sending Diddy to jail for having F-offs. Donald Trump then grabbed the coochie, took over the Capitol building, then sold people, cussed folks out, slapped people grandmama, and he running for the president. And y'all finna send Diddy to jail for life? For going up in some crack? Is this the land of the free? How is that possible? This man is getting talked about more than Donald Trump. For having a party. <laughs> for having a party. He made me do it. Well, your ass shouldn't have went to the party. I feel sorry for the victims, y'all. I feel sorry for them. But I, I'm, I'm really mad at their parents because they didn't teach them better. To make better decisions. You play with, if you go up in the lion's den, what's going to happen? If I go to the zoo right now and I walk up in a lion's cage, what's going to happen? The lion going to eat my ass. Y'all can't say, I can't believe that lion ate Nina. 
That's a damn shame. Y'all need to put that lion to sleep. No, I'm in the lion's den. He's supposed to eat me. I'm not supposed to have my ass in the cage. But y'all to be mad at the lion for eating me. I can't believe I don't even like lions no more. Did y'all see how that lion ate Nina? And the lion looking at y'all like, I'm a lion. Mama, I'm a lion. They mad because I ate somebody and I'm a damn lion? That's the hell God made me to do. Diddy is a freak. He's a super freak. And freaky people have freaky parties. The lights go out at midnight. The, the parties start. But like somebody said, it brought it to my attention today. Man, that party don't start at midnight. The freak party start when the freak party start. When it, as soon as the sun come up at 6 o'clock and they set up the tables. It's freaky shit going on already. You can't tell me over in that pool at 6 o'clock p.m. It ain't some ne naked big booty midgets. You can't tell me that. T.D. Jake seen them midgets over there just... That's why he stayed at the party. LeBron James and say Diddy throw the best party because they had them an apple cider and slices of watermelon. And they played nice music and everybody was mingling. No, it was some midgets hanging from the trees. Bubbles and his cousins. Every, it was some shit, acrobatics. Some amazing shit going on at Diddy House. Amazing shit. Because I've been to some nice parties before. But I ain't never said such and such throw the best party ever. A party is a party, right? What kind of party is Diddy throwing? Tupac ain't there. This ain't the only time I would say Diddy threw an amazing party if he had a special appearance with Tupac. I'd be like, Diddy is amazing. Tupac was at the party. If Tupac ain't at the party, what's so amazing about this shit? They go to these parties and then complain. You know he's sleeping with Meek Mills. I know. That's why I ain't go. Why your ass go? I mean. <laughs> somebody on Facebook, did, my friend on Facebook, you know what he just said? He said, if somebody offer you $5,000 right now, food stamps, or an invitation to Diddy House, what you gonna do? Y'all know how many women said, who gonna be there? It depends on who gonna be there. Because it's Elba Eldridge there. And Rob Trasman from New Edition. Uh, Ellen Iverson. You know, some people want to freak with some people. You know what I'm saying? Some people want to get freaked. Everybody ain't mad about the party. And y'all mad because they're not mad about the party. Some people went there to do that. Did y'all not realize that? Some people like that stuff. That's a fetish. It's people that like shoe fetishes. Should they go to jail because they want some shoes all around them? Some people just like to be freaks. And if you of age, it's not illegal. Uh, can I can send that memo to somebody? If you of age, it's not illegal. And some people right now mad at Cassie. You know why? Because Diddy can't have no more parties right now. She messing it up for everybody. They mad. She messing up for everybody, man. Diddy was finna have the baddest party. Man, it's 2024 and Diddy can't throw no parties. Man, damn. I told him about that, man. Call Donald Trump. <laughs> and I am not making a I am not making a mockery out of Cassie. I'm not. Don't lie on me. Yeah, see, yeah, see how people lie. Do not lie on me. I'm just trying to ease this damn dumb shit that's going on all over the internet. That's all I'm trying to do. Make y'all laugh for once. Because we got a whole bunch of News 8 reporters. Have you seen Sean Puffy Combs? We, yeah, oh, I, there he is. He on his bike. No, I seen him over over there with Russell Simmons. He had Meek Mill House. Everybody got a different story. Everybody got a different story. I just want Puffy to call me because I will make Puffy go to work and I would get paid. See, Puffy need a... Puffy, you know what the problem is with Sean Puffy comes for real, on a real note. Y'all know what's wrong with Sean. And this is this when you serious when you call him by their real name, Sean. You know what's wrong with Sean? He ain't had the right black girl. He didn't get the right sister. Because if he had the right sister, he the one would be on the news talking about he getting mistreated. 
She crazy, y'all. She would be on there crying. If he had the right sister, Puffy would be asking for help. He didn't get the right sister. He got some weak women. He got some yes, some master women. Man, the right black girl. Y'all know some black girls would have beat Puffy ass. She would have called her cousin and them. Man, they would have beat Puffy. They would have had Puffy ass tied up like misery. If they would have found out Puffy was over there doing it to their my little cousin. See, Puffy ain't dealing with project girls. She, he ain't dealing with hood girls. The girls that went to public schools. He ain't dealing with them girls that went to the public school to smoke weed and they could take a 40 ounce and drink it in five minutes. He ain't dealing with them kind of girls because she was on the phone. This all Cassie had to do. I don't know where Cassie black family members at. You know, Puffy, he, he made me take drugs and she did what? Go get the cutty. Yeah. Go get the cutty and Donald Trump. We finna go get Puffy ass. Now, I don't call the news because you know, you know girls in the hood, they don't call the police. Hood folks don't call the police. They handle shit they self. They like, oh, ain't he a billionaire? Puffy finna be tied up like misery. Everybody be wondering, have y'all seen Puffy? His ass down there with a damn brick between his knees and they whooping his naked ass. What you do to my cousin? Whooping his ass with their daddy belt. Beating the shit out of Puffy. I'm, t I'm telling you, he ain't get the right women. Puffy ain't tough. Puffy used to be a nerd. Look back in the 90s, he used to be a nerd. Y'all didn't let this nigga just take over the damn Hollywood. Y'all didn't let Puffy take over Hollywood. And Jay-Z. The camel looking nigga. How did, how did Puffy and Jay-Z take over Hollywood? Man, what? They didn't got rid of the cute dudes. Tupac gone, R. Kelly gone. They ain't got rid of all the cute dudes and, they, and them two taking over. All right, y'all, I'm gone. I'm getting mad because I'm thinking about Tupac. Because if I find out Puffy killed Tupac for real, I'm going to find I'm, whatever jail Puffy go to, I'm going to send him threatening letters every day. I ain't playing. Let me find out what prison he go to. And he said something to Tupac. I'm going to be telling niggas in there, I'll give you some commissary. Whoop his ass every day. Beat his ass. He better not have did nothing to Tupac. And I think he did something to Tupac. And Michael Jackson. Damn, Puffy. Why you why had to mess with some of our greatest entertainers? Whitney Houston. Did he? Y'all really think he did something to them? Because he was there when Whitney died. That would be so sad if he really did something to Pac, Biggie, Heavy D. Damn. That would be messed up. Yeah, for real, when I think about it, I'm like, did he really do that shit? I hope he didn't sell his soul for that. I'm praying he did. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope y'all had a little laughter. Don't dog me out too bad. I was just being funny. But I was being real about the president shit. We got to get Carmela Anthony ass up out of there. We got to get her up out of there. I think she'd be over there... Um beating um um biden you know old people that's abuse she, i think she'd be over there beating biden i'll talk to y'all later bye